In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The Hajj. Hajj is one of the noblest acts of worship and amongst the highest of good deeds. For it is a veneration of the signs of Allah and a glory to the Abrahamic faith and a sign of respect for the sacred house, the house that Allah made as a blessing for all of mankind. Hajj also is a manifestation of the power of Islam and a source of pride for the Muslims. It is an exercise that disciplines a person causes him to be patient in the face of hardships and difficulties and accustoms him to give up luxuries and other vanities of this world. Hajj is therefore a manifestation of the believer's love and submission to Allah for it embodies his feelings towards his Creator in all of his actions, in its form and shape, in its spirit and heart, in its outward and inward acts, in its talbiya and tawaf, in its dua and call. All of it is nothing except an indication of the believer's total submission to his Lord. The blessings of Hajj. Allah has encouraged his servants to perform Hajj, for he has said, and proclaim amongst mankind, Hajj. They will come to you on foot and on every lean camel. They will come from every deep and distant wide mountain highways, so that they may witness acts that are a benefit to them. Entering Mecca. When the pilgrim reaches Mecca, the first place that he should go, after making sure that his belongings and luggage are in a secure place, is the Masjid al-Haram. وسنزيد المحسنين فبدل الذين ظلموا قولا غير الذي قيل لهم فانزلنا على الذين ظلموا رزا من السماء بما كانوا يفسقون قال فانها محرمه عليهم اربعين سنه يتيهون في الارض فلا تاس على القوم الفاسقين The Tawaf. After this, the pilgrim begins with the Tawaf. It is necessary that he or she be in a state of purity, in other words, after having performed ablution, just like the prayer. The Tawaf is like a greeting to the mosque and amongst the greatest of the acts of worship. Allah commanded, so let them do Tawaf around the ancient house. Before beginning the Tawaf, it is recommended for him to do Ittiba'ah, meaning that he take his upper garment and put it beneath his right arm, thus leaving it bare and then throwing it over his left shoulder. Then he begins the tawaf from the black stone by pointing at it with his hand and saying, Bismillah, Wallahu Akbar. If he is able to touch it or kiss it, then all the better. But let him beware of causing harm to other Muslims in the process of making his way towards it. Then he circumambulates the Kaaba seven times, making sure that the Kaaba is on his left side. And it is encouraged for him to quicken his pace in the first three rounds. This is known as Ramal, and walking normally in the last four. Every time he passes by the Yemeni corner or the black stone, he should point with his hand at it and pronounce the Takbir. In other words, Allahu Akbar. It is also recommended that he say in between the Yemeni corner and the black stone, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab nar which means, O oh our Lord, give us good in this life and good in the hereafter and save us from the fire of hell. Then when he finishes the tawaf, he should go behind the Miqam Ibrahim if he can. Otherwise, he can go to any part of the mosque and pray to Rakaas.
رب اغفر لي ولوالدي ولمن دخل بيت مؤمنا وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات ولا تزد الظالمين الا تبارا لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك ان الحمد والنعمه لك والملك السعي once the pilgrim has completed the two rak'ahs, he should start his sa'i. The sa'i begins with Mount Safa. If possible, the pilgrim should climb up the mountain. Inna <laughs> Meaning, verily Safa and Marwa are of the signs of Allah. So whoever performs Hajj or Umrah of the house, then there is no sin upon him. If he walks between them, and whoever does good, then Allah is ever grateful, all knowledgeable. After saying these prayers, the pilgrim should descend from Safa and walk to Marwa. When he comes to the two green pillars, he should quicken his pace between them and then continue walking until he reaches Marwa. When he reaches Marwa, he should do the same as he did on Safa. After doing so, he has completed one of the seven circuits. He then completes the rest of the seven in the same manner. The Sa'i is one of the pillars of Hajj, without which the Hajj would not be complete. So it is one of the traditions of Hajj. I swear, the one that does not perform Sa'i, Allah will not consider his Hajj complete. Because of these evidences, the scholars have unanimously agreed that the Sa'i is one of the pillars of Hajj. فجعل فدة من الناس تأوي إليهم وارزقهم من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون ربنا إنك تعلم ما نخفي وما نعلن The actions on the 8th of Dhul Hijjah. On the 8th day of Dhul Hijjah, which is also known as the day of Tarwiyah, it is encouraged that the pilgrim leave for Mina before the Dhuhr prayer and remain there until he prays five prayers. In other words, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, and the Fajr of the next day. The actions on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. Once the sun has risen on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah, the pilgrim leaves for Arafah. It is recommended that when the sun reaches its zenith, he should attend the sermon, if possible, and then pray Dhuhr and Asr together in Qasr shortened format. The scholars of Islam have unanimously agreed that the standing of Arafah is one of the pillars of Hajj, and whoever misses it must give a sacrifice and perform Hajj the following year. This ruling is based on the statement of the Prophet Hajj is Arafah, spending the night in Muzdalifah. Once the sun has set on the day of Arafah, the pilgrim should head for Muzdalifah. He should proceed calmly. The perfect manner in which one stays in Muzdalifah is that he comes to it, then he prays Maghrib and Isha together, combined and shortened, then he sleeps until Fajr. He should pray Fajr at its earliest time, then stand at the holy ground, meaning any place in Muzdalifah, and make dua facing the Qibla, until the sky becomes yellow and the morning light becomes very clear. Whoever does it in this manner has followed exactly the manner in which the Prophet ﷺ performed it. The pilgrim can stay at any place inside of Muzdalifah. It is also recommended for the pilgrim to gather the stones that he will throw at the Jamarat from Muzdalifah.
واجعل لي لسانا صدق في الاخرين واجعل لي من The actions on the tenth day of the Hijjah. When the sun is almost about to rise, the pilgrim should set out from Muzdalifah to Mina. Once he arrives, after sunset, he should throw seven pebbles at the Jamratul Aqaba, saying the Takbir, or Allah Akbar, when he throws each pebble. He also stops saying the Talbiyah at the beginning of the first throw. It is obligatory upon the pilgrim to throw stones at the three Jamarat on the 11th and the 12th day. He should begin with the Jamarat al or the first Jamra, which is the one that is closest to the mosque known as Masjid al khayf He should then move on to the middle Jamra, Jamra al Thaniya, and then the last one, Jamra al Aqaba. Once a pilgrim has thrown his stones, then he should sacrifice his animal if it is with him. After he has completed this, he should either shave or trim his hair. Once the pilgrim has thrown the stones of the twelfth day, he is allowed to leave Mina and perform the farewell tawaf or tawaf al-wada as long as he leaves Mina before sunset, before he leaves from Mecca. This tawaf is obligatory according to the majority and if a person leaves it, he is obligated to offer a sacrifice as an expiation. It is permissible for the pilgrim to delay this tawaf until he finishes from all the acts of the Hajj and is about to depart from Mecca. واذكر عبدنا ايوب اذ نادى ربه اني من الشيطان We ask Allah that He makes our Hajj an accepted Hajj and forgives us all our sins and rewards us for our efforts. And may peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and followers. إذ قالت إمراد عمران ربي إني نذرت لك ما في بطن محررة فتقبل مني إنك أنت السميع لي ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا إذ نادى ربه نداء خفيفا إذ نادى ربه نداء قفيا هنالك دعا زكريا ربه قال ربي هب لي من لدنك ذرية طيبة إنك سميع الدعاء وزكريا إذ نادى ربه ربي لا تلني فردا وأنت خير الباردين قال ربي إني وهن العزم مني واشتع الراس الشيبة ولم أكن بدعائك ربي شقيا <تصفيق> 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 
وإني خفت المبالي من وراي وكانت امرأتي عاقرة فهب لي من لدنك فليها <تصفيق> يرثني ويرث من أهل يعقوب واجعلوا ربي رضيا قال ربي إني ظلمت نفسي فاغفر لي فغفر له إنه هو الغفور الرحيم قال ربي بما علمت عليك فلنكون فلن فلنكون ظهيرا للمجرمين فقال ربي إني لما أنزلت إلي من خير فقير قال ربي إني أخاف أن يكذبون ويذيق صدري ولا ينطلق لساني فأرسل هارون قال رب اشرالي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأقضة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي هارون أخي قال رب اغفر لي ولي أخي وادخلنا في رحمتك وأنت أرحم الراحمين ربنا ربنا إنك آتيت فرعون وملأه زينة وأموالا في الحياة الدنيا ربنا ليغلوا عن سبيلك ربنا اتنس على أموالهم واجدد على قلوبهم فلا يؤمنوا حتى يرموا العذاب الأليم